Thousands gathered in Yerevan to protest the anti-Armenian hysteria being promoted by officials in the Republic of Azerbaijan. At the center of Azerbaijan's malice is a border dispute with Armenia over a sliver of land where Armenians have lived for centuries. The conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan can be traced back to Joseph Stalin, who in an attempt to control the ethnic communities in the Soviet Empire, placed the centuries-old Armenian region of mountainous, or nagorno karabakh under Azeri rule. In reaction to talks of Armenian autonomy in Karabakh, Azeris attacked Armenians with the approval and support of local authorities. What resulted were massacres of native Azerbaijanis of Armenian descent. Hundreds were killed, tortured, burnt alive, stabbed with crude and barbaric weapons. Children were held over the open flames of stoves, and more than 300,000 Armenians were forced to flee Azerbaijan. But the world didn't take notice. Rally organizers say that the Sumgait massacres were never fully acknowledged and addressed by Soviet authorities. Further, they say those who orchestrated and carried out these brutal and barbaric attacks were never punished by the courts. It took the Red Army three days to march into Sumgait and put a stop to the violence. But the violence broke out in other Azerbaijani cities and forced Armenians in Gharapakh to use military force to defend themselves. For 18 years now, Armenia's government has been trying to find a diplomatic solution to the Armenian Republic of nagorno karabakhs referendum to break away from Azerbaijan and be part of Armenia. As recent as a few weeks ago, another meeting between the presidents of Armenia and Azerbaijan failed to achieve any results. Adding insult to injury, an Azerbaijani political party awarded its Man of the Year award to an Azeri soldier who hacked to death and decapitated an Armenian officer attending a NATO conference in Hungary. Armenians are asking Azerbaijanis to stop the desecration, destruction and vandalism of ancient Armenian holy sites, cross stones and cemeteries. For the CNN World Report, Paul Chadurgian, Armenia TV.